like you before you're 300 and you're just like you do that trying to race, you know, this, this, this final journey, make the most of it. What was it yeah. like the weekend, the crowd, the energy, when Jack came on or when it was yeah. like great? Like, was just something, did you compare it to your previous finals, what it was like? Um, well, yeah, in terms of, you know, making the most of it, um, you know, I think just even training, it was, it was a long build up from the last game to, to the first final. And um, yeah, I, I guess even just, you know, 12 months previous playing, um, you almost forget how good it is out there. And, um, you know, our fans are so good at turning up and, um, you know, 92,000 there again on Thursday night. Um, yeah, just to hear that black and white army just going mad, um, you know, it really helps us at times. It can give us a, you know, a little bit of an advantage, I think. So, um, yeah, to be out there again um, and to obviously come away with the win was, was nice. From the result point of view, it was pretty close right at the end. So you probably couldn't enjoy it too much. But yeah. point of view, what did you make of it? I guess how you, how you held on, uh, you know, even facing a lot of, a lot of injuries from the Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were coming late. Um, you know, our backs did well to hold up probably. Um, but then, you know, I guess for us to start the game as, as good as we did obviously helped as well. So, um, yeah, I was still able to enjoy it. I think those close games, you know, once the siren goes, makes it even better. So, um, yeah, would have been nice not to get that close, but, you know, we'll take the win. You talked about Jim Hendels last week about him and you specifically and the length of time between um, your two flags and, yeah. and how, you know, you came in very young, managed to have that success young. Yeah. What does it mean to you now to have had to wait that long, I suppose, to try and get back there and how you appreciate it? Yeah, well, I was so young. I was 19 at the time and it wasn't that I didn't make the most of it. I was just young and probably immature and, um, you know, just probably thought that was going to happen all the time. It was my second year and I'd been lucky enough to play in the prelim the year before and, yeah, just thought it was going to be an all-the-time thing and I quickly found out that it's not. So, um, yeah, being able to really embrace, you know, the moment and, and not look too far ahead and behind as well. Um, you know, I think the coaches have been really good, you know, at making guys just really um, understand the occasion and, and really make the most of it because, you know, as we've seen, it doesn't come around all that often. And, you know, I'm getting close to the end now. So, um, you know, I'll be doing all I, all I can, sorry, just to make sure that I embrace it all and really enjoy it. You spoke about the build up to, to the last game, how long yep. it was getting to that first final. Obviously, face another week off now. Yep. I know last time there were guys that went to Queensland and all that sort of thing, but it's yeah. probably the complete opposite. So yeah. what does the week off do for you now? Um, well, this is the first time we've been in since the game. Um, but I guess, you know, finals pressure as well. Like, I still feel a little bit sore today. So um, to be able to have a, a week off and rest um, is, you know, going to be good for everyone. We'll still get plenty of training in. Um, but, yeah, it'll give us, you know, time to um, as well enjoy, you know, the win on the weekend. Um, and then, yeah, we'll sit there and, and watch whoever it be over the weekend. So, um, yeah, we'll enjoy this week. Um, I'm sure we'll still get plenty of our fans rock up and support us at training, which we love. As I said, they they rock up to everything and we love that about them. Yeah, bro, I mean, obviously you wouldn't have preferred to lose, so don't yeah. sort of take it that way. But, yep. I mean, you don't sort of worry about losing momentum or anything like that. You quite like yeah. the week off. Yeah, oh, definitely. I think if you ask any team, they would have much preferred to have the week off and, um, yeah, we'll definitely use it as an advantage going forward. The last time you won a qualifying final, you did end up losing that prelim. So you are still comfortable with that one in three, one game in three weeks, and what do yeah. you think you do differently this time? Oh, well, <clears throat> you know, I think we've played 24 games now, so, you know, an extra week is, I think it's advantageous for us. Um, you know, we lost that game, as you, as you spoke about, but, you know, that's in the past, it's a long time ago now. Um, you know, we're a completely different team as well. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, we're not even looking at results yet. We'll just, you know, worry about what we've got to do today, first of all, and um, yeah, just really embrace it and enjoy it. What's your feeling for Braden at the moment? Is he, is he nervous? Is he looking forward to presenting his side? What's your sense on him? Um, I haven't spoken to him a lot about the incident, but you know, clearly, the main concern is for Angus. Um, you know, you don't like to see anyone get concussed or knocked out. So, um, yeah, just hoping all the best for him. But then there's a process in place. And I guess from my point of view, that'll play out. And I'll find out when you guys find out what happens. Yeah, I think the separate thing is, is to, you talked to your players, obviously, about the reaction time. 
been for us six years. It's yeah. Slow mode and different languages, but yeah. You know, like, yeah. How hard is it to pull out or change it? Well, I, it's near on impossible, really. I think, um, you know, the decisions that you make, and you know, I've been on the end of of cot weeks before, and yeah, yeah, you, you never go out let go out there to hurt someone or. Um, you know, you don't want to be missing games of footy as well, but the game happened so fast and, um, yeah, there's times where things happen that, um, you know, almost you can't control. You know, it's a 360-degree game. There's guys coming from everywhere and, um, you know, sometimes it's unfortunate that things like that happen, but, um, you know, that's that's the game that we play and, and accidents are going to happen at, at times as well. So, um, yeah, as I said, I guess our concern is for him and hopefully that, you know, he pulls out well from it. Well, I guess it's why is he jumping in the air for a start? Like he, he was making a play at the footy, and um, you know I think it was it was a footy play. It wasn't there was no malicious in it. Like Bruz is a fair player, um, and it's just unfortunate how it ended. So can you talk about his style of play? We know that he, he likes to get physical, and we know that you guys can feed off the energy that he brings out there. Yep. How tough can it be to be that type of player um, in those environments? Because that's the way he likes to play. Yeah, and I mean you've watched him play as well. Like he he hasn't ever really stepped over the line. So when he goes out there and play, he plays hard and fair, and you know that's what I see from Braden. And seeing a, a player get knocked out, as you were saying, messing the ball, does that yeah. make you a bit more hesitant? The way you approach like no, no, not at all. I, I, you, you can't be really. Um, and as I said, there's there's rules in place where unfortunately things are going to happen that you know you can't always control. So, um, yeah, I guess as I said, it it will play out, and what will happen will happen. Yep. We saw Nick Dacos step up his training. Do you know he's going to be out there with the group today? How, how's he going? Yeah, I'm sure Nick's happy that we got the result. It gives him. An extra week to get ready, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone will be out there today. Nick being one of those, and yeah, really looking forward to you know what's ahead for us. Does it make a difference in the recovery, like him being the age that he is, yep. um, sort of bounce back from those things a bit quicker? I imagine you probably yeah. Know how to speak to that a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I don't know. I think I'm a quick healer as well, but um, yeah, Nick's a ultimate professional, and we've got such good people at this footy club that you know has the best interest for him and. You know, I'm sure if he wasn't right, then they wouldn't be rolling him out to play. And um, yeah, it's just good that we get that extra week now for him to get himself right. You've seen a lot of players pass through here. I don't want to make you seem yeah. old, but um, <laughs> old for someone old. like him after a long layoff, I think there'd be probably scenarios where you you know you might start him in a different bit rather than throw him right in the midfield. But yep. it seems like if he does come back this week, there'd be no hesitation to do that. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I think he's shown that he can play anywhere on the ground as well. <clears throat> um, so. Yeah, I'd just be happy for Nick to be on the on the on the park wherever that is, and um, yeah, he's a he's a special player, and he's someone that's only gonna um, you know help our team going forward. And we saw last week, you know, obviously John Young was pretty upset when he when he did yeah. exploit. How hard is that at this time of year for those players that may be left out for whatever reason? And, and what do you do as a group to kind of rally them and keep them going? Yeah, it's tough because you know we've probably thought that the time was going to come at some stage because we've got a fit and healthy list. And um, yeah, the, the tough conversations for the coaches are, you know, they're coming to light now and it's unfortunate for anyone to miss games of footy, but um, you know, we're not going to win this um, on just the 23 that, that go out there each week. We've always talked about having a squad mentality and um, yeah, we're, as, as I said, John was still huge in the way he carried himself throughout the week and at the game, I think was first class and um, yeah, jobs. John's job is definitely not done, that's for sure. Steel, just back on the, your performance over the last few games, so you've yep. been such a good in the finals games. Um, how do you set yourself up um, in, in those types of games? How do you perform so strong? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I try not to change too much. I've played terrible in finals as well, so um, yeah, I guess I just try and approach it like any other game. Clearly it's not, but um, yeah, and I almost look look forward to it more. Um, yeah, there's no sort of shying away from it. Um, you know, we talked earlier about embracing everything that comes our way, and um, 
yeah, I just feel like I'm very lucky to be in the in the situation I am and being able to play in front of 92,000 you know, fans is is incredible and um, yeah, something that I'll never get sick of. Yeah, um, well, yeah, I've actually played on obviously a few times now, um, and both of the, the last two times I've haven't been able to get myself to the bench as, as much as I would have liked. Um, and yeah, I guess he's he's a great runner. Um, and the, yeah, almost something that I, I look forward to. Um, you know, he's rated as a, as a top wingman in the game and you want to play against the good players. So um, yeah, I looked forward to the challenge and um, you know, who knows, there still might be another one around the corner. Do you watch the game together? Yeah. Yeah, well, they're going as well as anyone at the moment and um, you know, I think what there's six teams left, so um, you know it's not like we're sitting back thinking we want to play any particular team. There's still some great teams out there, so um, yeah, it'll be a great game and you know one that we'll clearly have a keen eye on. Um, and yeah, I, I guess <clears throat> we can just prepare for for whoever that is. We're not going to find out until the weekend, so I guess this week will be a lot about us and getting ourselves right. But once we know the result, we can we can move forward and look forward. Do you watch it? together or are you a put the kids to bed couch type <laughs> operator um no i i don't think we'll watch it together no um but i love the footy i watch watch all the footy so um yeah i'll be watching it at home on the couch um yeah that's for sure keep it going you know, we have to lock up. um as far as i know yeah yeah well, i haven't heard any different as i said we've just come in here now to start off our week but um yeah as far as i know they're both sweet Thank you. Thank you.